Hey, welcome to the Small Spaces class. I wanted to use this location from Reckoning to talk about shooting in tight spots because I really had to think things through when I was planning this scene. Take a look at this area. It's very small, right? A little disclaimer, there's a very friendly goat right next to us and I just gave him some food, but as soon as that food is gone, he might start making some noise, uh, wanting more food or wanting attention. In fact, speaking of the goat with pre-production in Tech Scouts, you discover these things. And I had to arrange for someone to feed the goat out in his pen during production so he's not in the barn making noise while we're trying to shoot the scene. So again, Tech Scouts, pre-production, very important, right? So back to this. Before I talk about the camera setups, lighting. So this is our primary light source. This is our only motivated light source in this dark barn, this one window right here. But I did use other lights to add general fill light so that I can, you know, get the right exposure on my talent. But for the film, the audience is going to see this as the primary light source, right? So I put a silk over it. And then depending on the weather, like today, it happens to just be cloudy. So I have a lot of natural diffusion in the sky. And so I, ha I don't have to do anything else but the silk. And then the lights in here are used to add general fill to just to keep the exposure right if that makes sense. So back to camera setup. So I came in here during pre-production with the camera and I had to use a 24 lens. I, I had to go that wide on my micro four thirds sensor because let, let's say I only had a 50, a 50 millimeter lens on an MFT sensor wouldn't have had the field of view that I needed in here because it's such a tight space. So I had to be on a 24. I could have even gone a little less if I had the lens, but I didn't. I had a challenge though. Besides figuring out how to get to uh, get Rose and Lyle into here the right way in a creative way that looked good, I had to be on the right side of the line of action so that I could shoot shadow side. So if this is the primary light source, then what, that's what we see in the movie. But I wanted to start the scene over here in the corner so that when Rose came in, I could do a pan between the chicken coop and the doorway. But being over here had me on the wrong side of the line of action because if I stayed over here at the camera, then I'm shooting uh, the lights coming in and hitting them. Like if they're facing this way, the lights hitting them here. And if I'm on this side of the line, that's not, that's not shooting shadow side. I need to be over here. So how do I get the camera over here if I'm starting on this side? Well, what I did is I decided to, after it was kind of confusing at first, but I thought about it and decided to put the camera out here in the main barn when Lyle comes in. And then he naturally crosses the line of action when he comes over here to look at the gold. When an actor crosses that line of action, that puts the camera on the other side of the line and then you're okay. And there, there's other ways you can do it, but th that's what worked for this space. So then once my camera was on the other side of the line, I could move in here and shoot sh on this side, shadow side, for the rest of the scene. So hopefully that makes sense. It's just it's good to, if you can, to go ahead, go to your locations ahead of time, take the camera and the lens you're going to use, and really think it through, then create that shot list, storyboards if you need them, and then you're ready to go day of shooting, and you're not wasting time thinking things through. Because if I had waited till day of shooting to get this scene, either I wouldn't have gotten the shots that I really wanted, or I uh, would have wasted a lot of time doing them. And time's the most valuable thing you have. You can't waste it. So hope this helps. See you in another production lesson very soon.